Okay, let's uh, try this. Let's start working with this Drobo, shut it down, take the drives out. We're going to use these uh, Iron Wolves 14 terabyte drives in the Drobo, eight of them, to see what's the volume size that the Drobo supports. And we already, I mean, I already know that it takes the 14 terabyte drives because I tested it with one. So now I just want to take uh, all my drives out. I backed up the Drobo, it took like 14 hours. And I have to numeritate these drives down here, take them out, and then, I mean, shut down the Drobo, and then put these other ones in and see what the Drobo says. So, without further ado, let's get into numeritating these guys. And if I could find something that will stick, that may be a little difficult here. <laughs> Uh, we're going to shut down the Drobo and see where it takes us. Yes, I'm shutting it down. I've been playing with it last night uh, to adjust some of the settings. And I've been playing with it like before that to put it on uh, uh, jumbo frames. But my Intel network card on my computer doesn't take the right jumbo frames. So they can't communicate. So the Drobo is on jumbo frames, but that computer is not. So that's not good. Or well, at least it's not working. So I would have to change the computer. And these computers, they all seem to come with the Intel cards. And the Intel cards, they apparently do not have proper jumbo frames. Or they, they, what they have, they have steps. So they have 4,088 bytes or and then 9,014 9, bytes. And the Drobo jumbo frame, it's only 9,000. So when I put the computer and the Drobo, they don't work. But if I keep one or the other, they do work. So that doesn't really, really help because this Drobo won't shut down. Yeah, that's a big problem. Okay, finally, he shut down. The Drobo shut down, so let's do this. Let's take these drives out and... So this is, I, I mean, the, the, the Drobo itself is pretty old. Uh, it has probably five, six years. And it's still going pretty good. And it is very surprising that when I tested it with the 14 terabyte drives, it worked. And online it said that it only takes 30 terabyte volumes. So now we're going to put that to the test because also it said that it only takes maximum 4 terabyte drives. So why not test 112 terabytes? And see how the Drobo performs, or if it even, you know, registers. Can we do multiple volumes? What can we do? So I don't think this matters, the order in which these drives are inserted. I just don't want to mess up my uh, volume itself, so that's why I'm kind of shutting it down so it doesn't start rebuilding the old volume. I'm just presenting it with new drives and we'll see how will it work. And one of these drives has been used in the pre previous test so I'm not sure if it's gonna ask me to reformat and so on and so forth but that's why it's cool to... well... <laughs> it, wrong! Oh. Yeah, multi. Ah, uh, come on, take it out. All right, good. Uh huh. Wrong way. <laughs> good thing there wasn't a traffic officer here, so it can issue me a summons quickly enough. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. I am quite curious about this and excited at the same time because. Now we get to see it. All right, let's go. Everything is up and running. Well, it's in the process of up and running. Uh, I have the Drobo connected through the USB so we get faster results in detecting it and playing around it. Maybe I should uh, do a copy of data. Let's see what's going to happen. I hope the configuration is in somewhere on the Drobo firmware. Not firmware, but whatever. Temporary whatever location rather than being on these drives that I took out because then I'll have to put the new IP address and so on and so forth and I'm not happy of doing that. Well, I will do it, but 
you know, not really happy doing it. I can't see. This is green, so it doesn't say anything yet. Let's let it uh, settle for a little bit, and we could try and uh, see. Oh, hold on. Okay, started looking at the drives. Okay, 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 okay. Well, it seems okay. Okay, red. Okay, now I heard a bleep. No, uh, Drobo dashboard has been looking for. Okay, found it. Too many hard drives have been removed. Please reinsert the remove hard drives. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to find out. So forget about that. Okay, we see these and that's the problem. I think one of the drive I used before as a previous test. So what I want to do is volumes. Warning, multiple drives have been removed previously. Now I want to reset and create. Now I don't know which volume that is. So that's why. But it does see them and Drobo settings. Yeah, I can't do anything. Tools, shut down, restart, Drobo reset. Yeah, what does that say? You have chosen to reset the Drobo. Okay. Erase all data volumes and settings store in this Drobo. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to, well, I mean, eventually I will have to, but don't recover the drives. Just allow me to, yeah, it doesn't allow me. Uff. Let's do a one by one test. Okay, empty, empty, add the device. Okay. Ah, there is a way. No, there isn't a way because I moved the window. Any drives. Okay, let's take them all out. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. So now, all right, let's turn on this thing again and see if it changes anything in its story about... The settings. So the settings have disappeared. And I'm not sure if this is going to be able to work or not. I'm not sure if I want to reset it to defaults because I do have the data backed up. But then I have to retransfer it on my drives here. And I have to redo them. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Re-IP it and so on and so forth. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just going to reset it. I've been avoiding this, but there's no other way but just... Yep, erase. Erase. Confirm. Okay, let's see. It has been erased. It's rebooting. And we should find out quite soon if this is going to be able to like mount the drives, build a volume, do all that. Let's come in online. Let's see, let's see. I am curious. Okay, <laughs> so... It has reset, it has rebooted, and this is the capacity, maximum capacity we're seeing here. And we have 16 terabytes free, so I have to look. All 14 drives are enabled. Uh, capacity seems free space, 18% out of an unallocated. So I'm not sure if this takes more than 30 then more than 16 terabyte volumes or something we got to play around with it and figure it out but uh this is becoming more and more interesting so for all of you out there that uh maybe you have one of these or maybe you are thinking to get one of these and probably these are uh getting very cheap now because they're like five six years old and they're not manufactured you can get them off ebay or so on and so forth the risk is yours i don't know but it takes 14 terabyte drives you get about 87 terabytes of space and you can split it in 16 terabyte drives until you exhaust the capacity so let's get capacity we have 48 terabytes of space and 39.11 terabytes of unallocated space. Going back to this, managing this Drobo, it's a bit of a challenge. Well, I don't know. It depends on the space. I don't have a lot of physical space to put it. It has to be awkwardly sat under my desk. If the case itself fails, this bad boy, the case fails, then you can't. You need a second case to put and recover your data. So you would constantly need to back up your data so you would need either a second drobo or you can back it up into the cloud and use like the cheapest possible uh storage available like very late access whatever you know uh limited redundancy and for that to have a cheap price so that's another option or have a second drobo 